In yet another bizarre twist to an already scandalous vice presidency, Judge Omar Bini's Senate hearing was postponed when allies who were supposed to speak on the vice president's behalf were a no-show. Bini's personal secretary, Ebeng Baloloy, and financial officer, Jerry Lim Lingan, were intended to provide key support to Bini's defense, which would have exonerated him from fraud allegations. When asked for their reasoning for skipping their responsibility, Bini's cronies decreed, Napakamahal ng marking sa Makati, your honor eh. In other news, inmates all over the Philippines are kicking themselves for not realizing it was that easy to avoid jail. I paid for parking and I got thrown in the slamet. Oh man! <laughs> the blockbuster musical Miss Saigon recently celebrated its extraordinary 25-year anniversary with a gala celebration on the West End in London. The popular musical thrust many a Filipino cooner into the international limelight, most notably Leia Salonga. Since opening more than 25 years ago, thousands of Filipino actors have been in productions all over the world, including the current West End revival, proving once again that the Filipinos are some of the greatest entertainers. And let's face it, why would anyone want to cast actual Vietnamese people in a show about Vietnam when our English is so much better than theirs? <laughs> Hollywood socialite and fashion icon Paris Hilton has expanded her family's real estate empire to the Philippines. Her first property venture is the urban beach resort Paris Beach Club at the Azure Luxury Residences in Manila. The beach club has fine sand, simulated ocean waves, and other luxurious amenities designed by Paris Hilton herself. In a recent trip to Manila, Paris was asked why of all countries she decided to do business in the Philippines. The Philippines is hot. <laughs> You are. Recently, a newfound tribe has been found in a remote part of the jungle on the island of Luzon. To find out more about newfound tribe, we sent Newsbach correspondent Beng Beng Borromeo to meet with their tribal leader. Beng Beng? Maraming salamat, Ruben! I'm here in uh, the Aswan jungle with the chief of a newly discovered tribe whose name is... Uh, Frank! Uh, now, Ruben, this is a dialect rather unknown to anyone as far as I know, so please forgive me as I attempt to piece together a rudimentary translation. Uh, now, Frank tells me that why he's thrilled to have been discovered by those from the outside world. Uh, Frank and his tribe here in the Aswang jungle would prefer to be left alone. There have been a few swangs who... There have been a few swans who have ventured into more developed parts of the Philippines only to return to the simple life of these jungle people. So, okay. so while he thanks for the thanks us for the exposure, please respect uh, their lives here amidst the trees and leave them alone. And, and and they just love. They just love. Oh, they just love Apple the app! <laughs> Clearly, a hip jungle people, aren't they? <laughs> all right, that's all from us among jungle for news, but this is Ben Ben Borromeo. Oh, Ruben! <laughs> Swan, I like that. And here with the latest in weather in and around the motherland, Jobbing Makalintal. Jobbing? Thank you, Ruben. The forecast today is rain. Rain here. Here, here, and there. Lots and lots of rain. The forecast for the next five days? Rain. Thank you, Ruben. And finally, boxing champ Manny Pacquiao's 65-year-old mother, Dionysia Pacquiao, is now officially a cougar. She has publicly announced her romance with a 38-year-old seaman, Michael Yamson. This bizarre pairing has upset the Manny Pacquiao, who is an evangelical Christian, and he has openly expressed his disapproval of this romance, claiming immorality. Oh, Pac-Man, I'm sure your mommy still loves you. You know, you can't be mommy's little boy forever. But this guy can. Who's your bro daddy? Who's your bro daddy? And that's it for News Buff. I'm Ruben Wee. Thank you for joining me. Good day, good evening, and good night.